Hey there, and off my eyes seem a little bit reddish, it's, it's allergy season, and uh, trust me, I wish it was something else, but my job does random piss tests, so I miss it. <laughs> Marijuana! Uh, anyway, I'm gonna make a special video. I guess I should put this under my opinion category, because I never thought I would be doing something like this, and, uh, well, you know, that's the premise of making a YouTube channel, is you start doing things that you didn't think you would do before. But, so for this video, something special. I have a little bit left over of uh, Jack Apple, and I'm going to make it straight. I'm not going to water it down. But, anyway. Oh, that sound is so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> Hey, I just got a book that came in and truth be told, you know, with my schedule and just life in general, it is hard to sit down and read books. And truth be told, I haven't read a book and well, even bought a book in over a decade. Um, actually, the last book I bought was this book called A Memory of Light. It was the finale for the Wheel of Time series written by the great and late Robert Jordan. And my God, real quick, Robert Jordan for this man, have a drink. Have a drink with us. Oh boy, that's some smooth jack apple. <laughs> anyway, so um, you know, I've listened to audiobooks over the years with my work schedule and driving and just sitting down with a book. It's it's pretty hard. And uh well, there's this book that just came out and it's called Dark Harvest, and it's written by this author, some asshole named Will Jordan. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this person. Apparently he's written a few books, and uh well, if you look in the back here, I check this out. It's a picture of this guy, and he seems like a real, real just idiot, I guess. <laughs> now it says right here. Will Jordan, born in Scotland in 1983, is the internationally published best-selling author of the Ryan Drake series, and he co-wrote the action thriller Deadly Cargo with James Patterson. In addition to his work as a writer, Will is also a prominent film and media critic, amassing over 1 million subscribers under his YouTube persona, The Critical Drinker. So, yes, this is my first book that, um, it's been a long time, and... You know, watching different streams and stuff, the drinker himself has said that plenty of times, you know, during super chats and streams that a drinker uh, review X, X amount of books and stuff and review this, review that. And he's even said that, you know, with YouTube, it is extremely difficult to review a book because the simple fact is that when you're looking at a show or a movie, you can pull up clips, you know, you can show sound bites, you can take... Susan, I am shocked and saddened by that different images and stuff a book it's difficult because you know like what what footage can you pull up and um well i figured this is a daunting task but out of respect for this man why not try my first ever book review now i just got this book in today so obviously i haven't read this thing overnight now i just got it i just got something real important this is basically part one part two may take me two weeks three weeks maybe a month but i will eventually review this book i told myself that starting today i'm gonna hop on my phone and make just a half hour timer and every day read at least a half hour because you know this book is about well, let's check it while we're here this book is 414 pages for some people 400 pages could probably take them a week or a couple of days. Again, with my work schedule, launching a YouTube channel, going to the gym, and Wednesday night tonight is karaoke. And some people would say, you know, loser, don't do karaoke. Yeah, but thing is, when your sister's friend is a very good looking bartender and she wants to keep doing tequila shots with you, I can tell you one thing. You don't turn out tequila shots with a hot ass bartender. I have never, ever scored a hot bartender. Now, before I do my review, well, I was talking to people in, in our Critical Drinker uh, Facebook group. They're like, hey, loser, you should sit there and when it's time to review it, be honest. And But also, after being honest, be drunk and like, you know what? It would be pretty fun to make my review pretty toasted. I am so drunk. <laughs> you know, just saying this going forward, the thing with him I respect and I like this guy as a critic is because recently he did this uh, review based on the film called Terror on the Prairie. And Terror on the Prairie is Gina Carano's first film since the whole debacle with Disney and The Mandalorian. And I still don't agree with what happened with Gina. And I support the fact that she's still working and is an actress. But also, it's uh, the second or, th or second or third film now by The Daily Wire. And even he said himself that as much as he's a fan of The Daily Wire and as much as The Daily Wire is trying to battle like this whole woke Hollywood message and stuff, that he's not going to universally keep praising something because it came out from the daily wire. It's like, yes, it is a good uh, step in the right direction. It's a huge step in the right direction to not have films trying to promote the message, but that automatically doesn't make it to be something good. And so he did like it, but he also gave his criticisms. Now I feel the same way as much as I like the critical drinker. And I like this guy, Will Jordan, I'm going to be fair. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Hey guys, this is me. And like, this is the best book I ever read because the drinker wrote it. Like, 
that would be a massive, for me, disrespect towards the man. And just as, as people watch my channel and see what kind of person I am, it would be a massive disrespect to you guys. I'm not going to do that shit. I'm never going to be a corporate chill. I'm never going to be like a fanboy or something. If this book is shit, I'll say, guys, love the drinker like Will Jordan. But you know what? This book sucks. And on the opposite spectrum, if I love it, I'll say, hey, guys, I like it. Simple as that. And I feel like if I if I were to talk with this guy and, and, and interact with him, you know, I'll say, dude, listen, your book, I thought it was great. Or, dude, I read your book and just, it wasn't for me. Simple as that. And that's my premise. Um, Like I said, I'm making this now in August 17th of 2022. Hopefully by September 1st, I will have read it, but we'll see. I'm not the fastest reader by any means. I like sitting down, you know, pouring a nice glass of uh, Jack or something, maybe like some candlelit dinner and some roses and not, that's a long time for myself. I'm surprised you're still single. But uh, this, I'm not sure how much a half hour a day, how much of this book I can read. I want to um, devote more time than half hour a day. But again, I've got, you know, Dragon Ball superheroes coming out with my kid and just so much stuff, my new job, my new job schedule, and just things. I'm always, always busy. I am very busy. I'm not even joking. Since I made my YouTube channel, uh, even beforehand, but since then more, I haven't slept an eight-hour day in like, like six months. So most days I get between three and four hours. And by all means, I'm not complaining. I love the fact that more subscribers, more comments, more praise. So yeah, I don't have time to be bored, but I also don't have time to sit there and read a 400-page book in a week. So, uh, that's about it for now. This is kind of a weird thing. I, I didn't make any, you know, any kind of like um, book review intro. And truth be told, after this book, I probably won't be reviewing a book for like the next who knows how long. So uh, that's pretty much it as always, guys. You know the spiel. And just uh, I got to finish my nice glass of Jack Apple, checking my time. And yeah, have to get ready for karaoke because karaoke is working itself. It's hard. But so in a few weeks, I hope you do like my book review. If the drinker sees us one day, I hope, you know, this book is good. And if it's not, we'll see. But okay, if you're ready, you know the spiel, you know what I'm about to do. Give me one second. This calls for a drink. That's some good Jack Apple. And um, I'm heading back to work.